This video is about transformations and specifically rotations. So a rotation is when a shape turns away from its original position around some point of rotation. And one interesting thing to know is that the distance from a point on the shape to the point of rotation is constant throughout a full rotation. So no matter how many degrees it rotates by, that distance will always stay the same. So, we're going to do an example rotating the shape, which is a triangle below, 90 degrees clockwise around the origin. So our first step is going to be to go ahead and draw it out, which we've already done. And then we're going to draw lines from the vertices to the origin. So we know our points are at 1, 1, you can see here, at negative 3, negative 2, and at 1, negative 1. And now we're just going to draw lines to the origin, not lines connecting the dots, but to the origin. We do this because, remember that distance from the points to the origin will remain the same, and we're going to use that to our um, advantage. So in the second step, we're going to draw lines 90 degrees to the right, or clockwise, of the original line. So, I'm just going to draw on those lines we had previously so we can see that rotation. So if we draw those lines back in, see we have this. Now, if you use something with a squared edge, it's really convenient because you can just put that on our line. And we draw another line. So this is a dashed line here representing that new line. And you can see it makes a 90 degree angle with the previous one. Same thing we're going to do for this point. And we're going to make this line. I'll make it dashed as well so we can see the difference. And it is 90 degrees from its previous line. Lastly, we're going to have another line for our last point. It's going to come up this way. And you can see it is at 90 degrees with its original line. So, in step three, we're going to take the new lines. We're going to make a point on them that's the same distance. Away from the origin. as the original points were. So whenever we do that, we know we have our dotted line that ran through here. And then we had another dotted line that ran about like this. So if we measure those lines, and you can use a ruler or something like that for this, you can go ahead and redraw them. 
So I'm using a ruler. This is about one centimeter here. So I'm going to put a point at that one centimeter mark. Same for this one here. And our previous line is about two and a half centimeters here. So now we have our three new vertices, and we simply need to connect those, and then we have our rotated shape. So this is the best way to come up with these rotations. There isn't a really clear-cut math way to do this, other than just using the geometry like this. And that's all about rotation.